immunization is a simple and effective way of protecting your child from serious diseases. Not only does it help protect in individuals, but it also protects the community by minimizing the spread of disease. So tell me, Dr. Siva, why should parents choose to immunize their child? Immunization is a process where um, you give a portion of or the whole part of a bacteria or a virus to someone to stimulate their immune system to fight against that particular infection. Um, if you look back 50 years ago, smallpox was one of the viral diseases was killing millions of people, which is completely eradicated from the world thanks to the immunization. Yes. Right. Um, so immunization helps children to fight against that particular infection. So some of the infection can be lethal, like meningococcal disease or haemophilus influenza. Or sometimes it doesn't necessarily lethal, but it can cause a long-term problems like polio or hepatitis B. Yeah. So certainly immunization can help to prevent all those infections. The most important thing is immunization not only protecting that particular individual, it also protects the community. In a community, vast majority of the people are vaccinated. So the infection spreading from one person to another person is quite less. So yeah. that protects the, in the people who didn't get their vaccines. And that's the thing, like, you know, I remember as a child, you know, chicken pox was the thing that yes. we all got at some point. And, you know, the knock on effects on someone's immune system from yeah. chicken pox can be herpes and all sorts of things as yeah. well. So, and I know that, you know, we don't see kids having chicken pox these days. That's true. Um, so I think, you know, immunization definitely has its place uh, for those, some of those diseases, as you said. So what kind of diseases you know, are there that immunizations help yeah, protect there are, against? There are quite a lot of disease immunization protects against. There are list of viral and the bacterial infections. So starting from the bacterial infections, like as I said, maybe meningococcal infection, hemophilus B, tuberculosis, and um, diphtheria, whooping cough, are the few of the bacterial infections. And if you look at the viral side of things, you know, measles, mumps, rubella, polio, influenza, um, all those are the common viral infections which protects it, protected by the immunization. So how often uh, do children and should they receive immunizations? So every, um, every state and every country have their own vaccination schedule, but most of them, the, the concept is, um, it's, it's just a common concept. Um, if you look in a child, most of the vaccines, vast majority of the vaccines are done before two years of age. So if you look at the Australian standards, um, at birth they receive hepatitis B vaccine, followed by they at the age of two months, four months and six months they receive the subsequent vaccines and at one year, one and a half year and three and a half to four years. So 90% of the vaccines are done in this time frame. And so school children between ages 12 and 13 and 14 and 16, they receive another two vaccines. Not only that, um, there are um, high risk um, individuals, you know, children with specific medical conditions, they receive vaccines at a different time frame. And also high risk populations, like for example, in Australia, the indigenous um, 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 population, they receive special vaccines, even when they are adulthood. So there you have it, uh, help protect your child against serious diseases while their immune systems are still developing. If your GP is ever wanting to refer your child to a paediatrician, definitely ask them to refer you to the amazing team at Towns of Paediatrics. They have a team of specialized paediatricians with a huge range of specialty areas, so your child will be in very good hands.